So minus three, minus minus three will be equal to zero. So that means you don't need to accommodate. Okay, if you have three doctors of myopia, and having the object's position at thirty-three centimeter in front of the eye, so you don't need to accommodate. So this is called the accommodation formula, a equal to k minus l. Okay. So here I just want to uh, give you a few examples so that you can do some calculation to determine what would be the amounts of accommodations required uh, in different situations. Uh, for example, the first one, okay, um, so this is a patient with uncorrected seven doctor my myopia. And if the patient required to see an object at 10 centimeters in front of the eye clear, okay, so can you calculate the accommodations uh, needed? Okay. So maybe we can do the first one together and then you can try the second uh, and the others. Okay. So in this case, I think what we need to do is to use the, uh, the equation A is equal to K uh, minus L. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, the, this patient has seven doctors of myopia uncorrected. Okay. So that means K is equal to minus seven. Then if he can see an object's clear at 10 centimeter, okay? So that means L, which is the object distance, would be equal to minus 0 0.1 meter, okay? So calculate the uh, accommodations required. So when, when L, small l, is equal to minus 1 meter, so the object's virgins would be equal to minus 10 doctor, okay? And for that, so A would be equal to, so um, so minus seven minus, minus 10. So therefore, accommodations would be equal to three doctor. So for a multiplication, if he or she has seven doctor of myopia, and looking at a distant objects, not a distant objects, objects at 10 centimeter. I mean, supposingly, if you put objects at 10 centimeter, so the amounts of accommodations required will be equal to 10 doctor, so which is a lot. But since this patient has already have seven doctors of uncorrected my myopia, so that's why the accommodation required in this case is only three. Okay, so it's very small. So by taking off the spectacle, he can see the objects at 10 centimeter without uh, much problem. I think it's, it's quite easy to have a three doctors of accommodation. Okay, so now can you work on the second, third, and then the last one? And uh, can you do a simple calculation and to determine whether uh, you can uh, uh, find the uh, accommodations correctly or not? Okay. So let's take a look of the second one. So five doctor high probe, see an objects, uh, clear at infinity. So can you calculate the amounts of accommodations required? So can you type the answer in the text box? Okay, so what is the uh, what is the accommodations needed in uh, for uh, question number two? So anyone? So what is the answer for question number two?
Thank you. Okay, five. So anyone? Yep, five. Okay, so we we uh so um so all of you get five. So let's let's do it together. So we, we're using the same equation. So a is equal to k. So k in this case would be um would be equal to uh, plus five. Okay, minus so at infinity. So that means the the k uh the l would be equal to zero. Okay, so a is plus five minus zero. So that's that's equal to five. Okay, thank you. So in the second example, so what you can understand from uh, this example is that if you have hyperopia and if you don't use any optical device, so if you want to see an object's clear at infinity, you have to uh, basically use your accommodation to compensate for the distant refractive error. Okay, so five could be a lot for some individual. And for those uh, who may have less than five uh, diopters of accommodation, particularly for the um, for the middle age or elderly, I think even for the distant prescription, so they may, I mean, distant visions, they may need a spectacle for the correction. Okay, for, for children, it, it may be okay, okay, because they still have sufficient of, of um, sufficient amounts of accommodation uh, that can be used to do the compensation. So question number three, three okay, for the after high prop, see an object's clear at 10 centimeter. So can you tell me what would be the accommodations required? Okay, 14, okay, thank you. So 14 is, is extremely high. So um, so you would expect uh, it is uh, not quite possible even for, for, for young people. Uh, let me show you the answer here, okay. okay. So it, it is probably only uh, possible in, in very young children and not even in maybe uh, adults because I mean, if he or she has uh, four doctors of hyperopia, and if you need to look at a distant op object at 10 centimeters, so he or she has to use um, up to 14 uh, doctors of accommodation, which is quite a lot, okay? So that's why this will only be possible in, in young children, but not in adult probably. So the last one, would it be possible if you have a patient who have uncorrected egg diopter myopia and see an object clear at 20 centimeter in front of the eye? So yes or no in this case? So uncorrected um, myop egg diopter, see an object clear at, at uh, 20 centimeter in front of the eye. Would that be possible? Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So um, you can use the same equations for calculation. So A is equal to K. So K would be equal to minus eight, minus eight, sorry, minus eight, minus K, and C an object's clear at 20 centimeter. So, so minus five. So as you can see here, so the answer is equal to minus three daughter. Okay. By calculation, it's about minus three. And for accommodation, you, you, you can't have a negative value. So, so we, we yeah, so, should always be positive. So that's why this is not possible. And also because if you think about the, the things that we, we, we talked about last week, if you have an egg doctor of myopia, your far point of accommodation is at 12.5 centimeter, centimeter in front of the eye. So if you if you put objects at 20 centimeter, so that is uh, that will be beyond your uh, range of clear vision. And that's why it is it is not possible for a patient to look at the objects at 20 centimeter clear with uh, these amounts of refractive error, okay. He can probably see it when corrected. So meaning that they're using a spectacle under, uh, um, otherwise uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm afraid that uh, he, he, he can't see an object's clear at 20 centimeter in front of the eye. Okay, um, do you have any questions so far up to, up to this point? Okay, if not, uh, if not, then I will move on to start talking about something uh, a little bit more uh, challenging, I think, uh, compared with the uh, simple calculations that we just did together. In the previous calculation, we only concern about the people who are um, uncorrected, okay, not using any optical device. But in most cases, as you know, this uh, is not possible. I mean, if you have refractive error, of course, you may need to use a spectacle or contact lens for correction at distance, and therefore, when you calculate the accommodation needed, so uh, it won't be that simple. Okay? 
because when you are using the uh, optical device, okay, uh, as shown in this diagram, so it will introduce some, um, um, uh, it will introduce a new, new, uh, I mean, um, a, a distance between the lens and the eye. And for example, if you're using spectacle, so we will have this uh, vertex distance, remember? So this is this distance is the distance between the lens surface to the uh, surface of the eye. Usually it's about one centimeter. I mean, for most of you, I think most of you wear spectacle, you know, the distance between your spectacle and the and your eye surface is about one centimeter. With this one centimeter, actually it could change quite a bit of accommodation, okay? Uh, um, and I will show you in the following slides, okay? Without correction, uh, all the calculation is very,